In this video, I will show you how to deploy a Node.js app on Cyclic for free in just three simple steps. And trust me guys, Cyclic is one of the best hosting platform for your Node or Express based API projects. It is also one of the best Heroku alternative that you can use. As Heroku is no more free, therefore considering Cyclic is one of the best choice for you right now. First of all, we need to create a Node.js application. I am going to create a simple app with single GET request for testing purposes. If you have already created a backend app and just need to host it, then feel free to skip this step. So let's create a new project and let's install Express. After that we can create index.js file where all of our code will stay. I will import express on the top and after that I will initialize my express app and let's use this app instance to create a server that will listen on a specific port that we will provide to it later. And if it does we will print a message on the console saying server is listening on port dash dash dash. And let me put that inside backticks to print the port variable. Now let's create a simple get request which will respond a simple JSON message saying hello from backend. So whenever a user visits our app, he will see this message on the screen. Finally, let's initialize our port variable to process.env.port for cyclic servers to listen and 5000 as well for local testing. And finally, in order to run our app, we need to create a new run script in package.json. But first of all, let's open your terminal and run the command as npm in it. It will initialize package.json with all the options and dependencies. Now here under scripts, let's create a new script as start and assign node index.js to it. Now I hope it will work. Let's give it a try. So let's write npm start in our console and there you go it runs and our app is running successfully on port 5000. Now that our backend is ready, the next step is to upload our backend to GitHub. Open your GitHub account and create a new repository. I will name it Cyclic Tutorial. Let's add some description and after that click on create repository. Our repository has been created. Next we need to push our code to it. So let's go to our files and here I will open my git bash. You can use your regular terminal as well. But before we do that, let's create a new git ignore file using command touch.gitignore. And I will write node modules inside this. So this will simply block node modules to push to github because we don't need that. Cyclic will automatically build and run our app on their servers and install node modules automatically. So now first of all let's initialize git then let's add all the files using git add dot and after that I will check the status using git status and there you go all the files are ready for commit. Let's write git commit and let's write initial commit for now. As this is our first change, you can write different commit on the second push and Cyclic will detect that and update your app. And this is what I loved about Cyclic. It can automatically be updated with GitHub. Next you need to write git remote add origin and let's paste our repository SSH link here. And finally let's write git push origin master. So it will push all the code to GitHub and there you go we are done with the second step as well. Now we have pushed our code to GitHub. Finally, let's go to cyclic.sh. You can sign up to it using GitHub account, but as I have created my account, so I need to sign in. As you can see, I have used Cyclic in the past and created two projects that are still running successfully. So to create a new project, just click on new app and here you can see different options. But I will simply click on link your own tab next to starter template. And here I can search my repository. So there you go, I found Cyclic tutorial. So I will select Select it and let's click on connect. It will ask you to confirm your GitHub password and after that you will land on this page where you can choose your repository once again. Finally just click on approve and install button and it will start building your app and you will get access to your app link once the process is finished. And there you go my backend has been hosted on Cyclic successfully. 
Now you can also change your subdomain. So for that let's go back and click on environment tab. Here I will add cwm-tutorial as my subdomain and just click on save. So now as you can see that my domain has been updated. So I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. So that's it we have hosted our Node.js app on Cyclic for free. So I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. For more videos like this subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon next to it. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.